Camera number 334 of 365 is the Canon AE-1. I've already uh, reviewed the AE-1 program. Uh, the only real difference is the fact that this doesn't have a program mode. Uh, but otherwise it's uh, just as capable. It's uh, an auto exposure camera, a uh, shutter priority uh, to, uh, to most of us, uh, where we change the uh, shutter speed and the camera responds uh, by applying the correct aperture. That is of course when the lens is set to A. Uh, the camera can be set off A and we can choose an, our own aperture and own shutter speed and then we're into the realms of uh, um, all manual but we do get an indication through the viewfinder of uh, exposure whether we're over or under. Um, looking through the viewfinder along the right hand side here we get uh, our aperture that's uh, been chosen uh, as a result of our selection of our shutter speed. The shutter speeds go from one thousandth, one one thousandth of a second down to bit bulb. And uh, as a, an aperture priority uh, kind of person, I found this very comfortable to use because, of course, looking through the viewfinder, I can see what aperture is being chosen in response to my selection of uh, my shutter speed. And so, as long as I'm aware that it's not too low, I can choose uh, aperture quite happily and shoot that uh, in that way. So very, very comfortable camera to use in that respect. Um, we have uh, our film counter, where my finger is, and then uh, our shutter. And uh, we then have a self timer, which we, when we flick out the switch. Uh, just to let you know, of course, that the, this uh, camera does require a battery, a 4LR44 battery, or four uh, LR44 batteries with possibly a little bit of silver foil. They don't seem to be quite as tall, uh, but that's a six volt battery. And then uh, coming back to the self timer, hopefully, if that actuates, we have to wind the film on. Nope, that doesn't want to work. If I hold this, uh, it doesn't always. There we go. Got the red light. See the red light there, counting down. Our self timer. And uh, then we have also, if we slide the button here or switch, uh, then turns uh, a lock on the uh, shutter speed, uh, shutter dial, beg your pardon. Uh, we have a battery test and our rewind uh, knob. I forgot to mention, of course, the shutter speed dial around the uh, film advance also. You select your film speed as well as uh, our shutter speed as well. Uh, our lens is uh, it's a breech lock lens, an FD mount lens, and uh, we just simply unscrew it by pressing the button there. We can use FL lenses, but we then have to perform a stop down metering, which is the purpose of this little lever where my thumb is. We just slide that in, and then that uh, stops down. The, uh, the apertures and then the camera can meter accordingly. We have uh, a preview button which uh, I found very helpful actually because uh, when you press it it stops down or tells us the aperture when we look through the viewfinder that's being selected at that particular time so you can choose to use the shutter actuation halfway or you could use that button just to give you an indication of where the uh, aperture is and then the button above that is a um, backlight button. I, think, I presume it's, uh, I didn't actually check to be honest, uh, stop and a half maybe, or two. Uh, and then uh, a little port for sync, uh, for flash, a cable that we can put in. We of course do have a hot shoe there. So let's just put uh, our lens back on. Oops, not putting it in the right place. One of my favourite lenses here, 50mm 1.8, do like uh, like that very much. And I think that's it. We have film rewind to uh, put our film in. And then of course to uh, unlock the film advance we have to press our button in. You can see a provision for a uh, motor wind and then our tripod mount. So there's a very brief view of the uh, AE1. Did enjoy using it. All the A-series seem to be uh, very accomplished uh, image takers, 
So uh, Canon AE1, that has been camera number 334 of 365.